in our mirab. I'm going to ask you, human, to do one thing and one thing only, to allow the Master into your life. You don't do it by forcing or begging. You don't do it by praying or chanting. There's no mantra. We do not have uh, any Master oils up here to bring the Master in. It is simply, I am here. I am here. That's it. It's allowing. It's allowing. And then it is so. It's time to master up. So with the Marab lighting in place, mm. with everybody who's watching in online, make yourselves comfortable. Uh, and if, if, you're, if you're nervous about this, well, master up. <laughs> feel, feel the difference now because the Master wants to do this. Master's been waiting a long, long time. Take a good deep breath. In this beautiful safe space, filled with companions, with Shambra. We're in the Transhuman Series, and it's time. It's time to master up. It's time, dear human, for you to allow the master into your life. Taking it from a mental concept, taking it from a wish and a desire, and making it real. And all you have to do is allow. That's it. All you have to do is allow. You take a deep breath and master up. Master has been there all the time, just waiting. But in so much compassion that it's, it's waited till you were absolutely ready. The Master brings in the beginnings of what you would call your light body. Your non-mentally oriented senses, senses of imagination, the sense of dreams. You know, dreams are a sense. Senses are anything that allows you a perspective of various forms of reality. And dreams are a sense. That's, that's what they are. The Master comes in now, just glides in just glides in. And now starts becoming part of your biology, of your anatomy. And even though you've had some issues with your body, the Master has none. You might have looked in the mirror and thought you're too fat, too old, you're too slumped over, whatever. The Master has none of those, and you'll hear it, you'll feel it. The human saying, oh, look at this body, and the Master going, oh my God, I love this body. And it feels strange at times, so there's going to be a different voice. You're, you're used to listening to the voice of the human and its aspects. You're used to a voice of criticism and judgment a voice of, I am not, rather than I am. You're used to listening to the human sub-voices, aspect voices of being less than, your own human self arguing with your own human self, both vying to be elected boss for the day, controller for the day. And now there's a different voice. and. You may not hear it even in words. It may be a voice of sans words, no words at all. But yet, it's like a voice. It's a new voice of the Master. There are going to be times when the human gets confused about this whole new level of presence. A level of presence in your senses, in your thoughts, in 
the voices in everything in your life, a new presence in driving a car, cooking a meal, even watching a movie, a whole new presence. And at times the human is going to try to, you could say, take credit for or try to make the master become human. In other words, try to do an ego takeover of the master. It simply doesn't work. You simply cannot. Times when the human is going to be saying, hey, aren't I the, just the grandest human because I've, the human has become a master? No. It's not that the human has become a master. The human is still a human. And there's the presence of the master. That's the beauty of all this. There's no taking over. There's no feeding. There's, it's simply the end. And you come to this such a beautiful place of, I am the human and I am the master. Together, simultaneously, but yet such differences, such different characters, such different facets. The human doesn't have to struggle at all with this. It's just allowing the master. I've been so waiting, so looking forward. It just slides right in. It's just there. It's within you, your body, your consciousness. And the master carries with it what I would call a light. Again, I'm not referring to just light that you get from the sun or other sources of light, but Master carries a light, a radiance. To me, that's when that part of consciousness just shines unabashed, unlimited, just shines. And that Master brings that in. Kind of like lighting you up from the inside. As wonderful as that sounds, some of you have spent lifetimes trying to stay in the shadows, trying to dim the light. So it could feel a little awkward. The Master, there now, in radiance, that light is shining and it's going to continue to shine. So dear human, start getting used to it. not a light that you can or even would want to try to control. Dear human at night, when you are able to sleep, <laughs> you're going to be sleeping two sleeps, two dreams, two different states of being. You're used to having one dream experience. With the master now, you have two. It could be a little confusing for the human who has sometimes difficulty even remembering one when they wake up, but suddenly two different dreams going on. How can that be? Well, it's the master and the human. Remember and remember this it's not the, ma the human becoming. Uh, a master. It's not the human becoming perfected. It is the and. It's the master and the human. Two that are one. One that becomes two. You've been locked in this coffin of the human reality for as long as you possibly can remember. You've been sealed away in the singularity of human reality. And now you become both human and master. And 
master is here. The fun begins. The and begins, the true and. We've been talking about it for several years now. Today is a day of mastering up. Take a deep breath, dear human, and take a deep breath, dear master. Now take a breath as the human and the master. And feel the difference. Both breathing. Both breathing simultaneously. It's almost like at birth when you took that first good deep breath and knew that you were back into another lifetime. And here today, it's taking that deep breath. The master and the human suddenly realizing it's not just one breath. It's the breath of the human and the breath of the master. Simultaneous. never about overcoming the human. It was about becoming the and, the human and the master. What great gifts the master and the human will share and give to each other, just like the great gifts that the people closest to you in your life gave, but in such a deeper, more personal and compassionate way. You'll give gifts to each other. Gifts of life from the Master. Gifts of wisdom. Gifts of the I Am and the human. You also giving gifts to this master who just waited to be in life, to be in you. Gifts of experience, gifts of love, gifts of sharing, gifts of just being in life, gifts of having friends. The master wants to feel what it's like with these friends, these friends of yours, this family of yours. You're, you the human are giving gifts to this master. It's not just a one-way street. The Master is here now. There's no more waiting. There's no more longing for the best friend you've ever had. The Master is here. The Master will not leave. The Master isn't just here testing it out for a day. The Master is here. I will continue to talk to the human about what may appear to be contradictions in your life at times, what appear to be, you could say, levels of human confusion, what appear to be a state of multiple existence. I'll continue to talk to the human about that. I'll continue to talk to the Master about human life, about strange things that humans do. But right now I'd like you to take that breath of the Master and the human together. And may all of our breaths from now on be the Master and the human, no longer a single breath of a lonely human. But now the breath of the human and the master reunited. Take a good deep breath. Take a good deep breath. Now comes the master. Now comes the master.
take that new breath of the Master and the human together. And so we begin a whole new chapter.